Well, this clip is coming from uh, a sermon that I preached recently entitled uh, A Different Story, really right out of Numbers 13 and 14, which I think is pretty fitting for the season that we find ourselves in, because this is that famous story of the 12 spies going to scout out the promised land. And of course, as we remember, 12 of them came back, but 10, the majority, they came back with a negative report. They looked into the land and they said, you know what? It is flowing with milk and honey, but it's got giants. Uh, it's got these people there that we don't think we can attack because if we attack them, they're going to destroy us and there's no way we could ever win. But then the minority, the minority report, that's what we need right now in this season. I believe Matt and Lori, <laughs> two of them, Josh and Caleb, they said, hey, we believe, and I like that word, we, we can certainly do this. We should go, we should invade, we should take charge, we should receive the promise that God has for us. And the whole point of the entire sermon is that we need to come out of the majority and we need to be people of faith. So many people right now are simply looking at the world through the lens of fear, but this is where the body of Christ rises up. This is where the church has its finest hour as we look through the lens of faith. And with the lens of faith, we say together we can do this. Together we can see the opportunity, even though there's obstacles, even though there's challenges in front of us. And I love it because in the message translation in Numbers chapter 14, you know, the majority of the people, they say, we can't do it. But Joshua and Caleb said, we can do it. And God ultimately rewards Joshua and Caleb for their faith. And the word that Eugene Peterson said about Caleb is that God said, well, Caleb, my servant, he's a different story, mm. for he has a different mm. spirit. And that's the word that I think for so many of us that I'm trying to live out right now. I know Ty is in the same camp as me that I don't want to look like the majority. I don't want to look like uh, what the press is saying. I don't want to look like what the majority of people around me that they're afraid and concerned. I want to see the opportunities. If God said it, I believe he's going to do it. And I believe the best is yet to come, mm -hmm. but I want to make sure I'm put on the lens of faith and start seeing things the way that God has told me those things so I can receive them. When God looks upon Rich Wilkerson Jr., I want him to say, yo, Rich, he's a different story. He's got a different spirit. Mm. Ty? <laughs> I love that so much. First of all, bro, your set was fire. All them glasses up <laughs> there, the lights behind you. I don't know if I ever want you back in the General Assembly because I love how the set looked. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you, hit, you, you hit on something that's so, so very imperative for us, even during this pandemic. Uh, how we see a thing determines what we say about a thing. And I, I, let's continue with the same character, Joshua. Now we're in Joshua chapter 6, and they're at the wall of Jericho. And God tells Joshua, see, I have given you the city. It was see with a, with a period or exclamation point, I'm not sure, but what I am sure of it as it was not a question mark. God wasn't asking, can you see it? He was commanding Joshua to see this city as yours. Because if you don't see it as yours, you won't fight for it. If you don't see it as yours, you won't possess it. And too many times the people of God come to the gates of what is ours, but we don't see it as ours. But what you said, Rich, was key. You said anything God says I can have, I believe I can have. I think the point and the key to seeing and the key to faith is what God says. And I think COVID-19 and this whole pandemic has slowed everybody down to get us back, get our ears back to the ear, to the mouth of God. What is he saying? Faith doesn't come by pandemics. Faith doesn't come by fear. Faith doesn't even come by ambition. Faith comes by hearing the word. So mm. I, I get faith once I hear what he has said. It is time for the people of God to get back to what God has said. Because when we move outside of what he has said, it's just hope. You know what I mean? We really hope it happens. But when we go by what he said, it guarantees the results. So what is God saying uh, about us in this pandemic? What is he saying about you? That's where I'm at right now. He's dealing with me personally, like Joshua, uh, not Joshua, who was it? A uh, 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 Jacob. He said, the, the angel was wrestling Jacob and said, what is your name? That phrase literally means, what is your label or what is your brand? How do you see yourself? 
If you do not see yourself the way I created you to be, you will not possess what I created you to possess. So now it's time for us to go from Jacob to Israel. If we got to fight, let's fight. If we got to wrestle, let's wrestle. But it's time for us by any means necessary to be who God sees us as. And then we can live how he's want us to live. And I'm excited about the pandemic. I've been taking this Sabbath. I've been taking a rest. But I've been refreshed. I've been being pruned. I've been being purged. And I'm letting God do a new thing in me so I can see things in a new way.